Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to continue on uh, on part three of the uh, crashed but not dead Garnet Red 69 Camaro Z28 that was had a pretty catastrophic crash as you can see in the previous videos. And this video is going to be going over the damage assessment now that we've got the car taken apart. And as you can see, uh, the floorboard and the rocker panel and the firewall, the tulips on each side of the firewall and everything are all pretty well wasted. Uh, the, the whole back of the car from the quarter panels back is pretty much intact as well as the top is in pretty good shape. And I've had a lot of comments about different ways of doing this, and I'm having a couple of uh, expert body guys uh, looking at the car and so on. And more than likely, we're going to pull this section out and then uh, replace the floorboards, the firewall, the dash, um, the tulips on both sides, the and the, um, the rocker panel, and so on. So... Um, Anyway, the, the floorboard had some rust in it, as you can see there. It, it uh, pretty much, you know, got, got torn. And, uh, but anyway, like I said, uh, we're going to have some more um, people look at it, and I will keep you up to date on the uh, assessment that we finally uh, decide to do. But right now, we're just going to... Um, probably move forward with uh, removing all those damaged portions and then welding in, spot welding in, uh, you know, all the new pieces. And we've replaced pieces with OEM as well as some of the AMD parts that, uh, you know, we would not be able to, to get OEM. So, Here's the new floorboard and the firewall and the dash laying here next to the car. And then we have a whole bunch of other parts and boxes that we haven't even opened up yet. So, again, this is just an assessment video to, to assess the, uh, the overall damage of the car now that we've gotten it apart. And previously I said that the subframe is probably okay, but actually we found out the subframe is bent and we will be replacing the subframe as well. So there's been a lot of confusion about this car. And some people have, have said that uh, it's the same car as the blue car, or the blue car is the same as the red. And so there is a lot of confusion. So just to clear that up, here is my blue car that I have a whole set of videos on. This is my Le Mans Blue. Z28 that I've got 13 videos on the restoration of this car. And as you can see, there are two separate cars. People have accused me of, of uh, making one car out of both or, you know, whatever. So just to be fair, I want to clear that confusion up. And I'm not sure if it's YouTube that is uh, mixing the videos up, but as you can see, there is a blue car and a red car there in the background. So I hope that this clears up any of the confusion. And, uh, you know, if you continue to have any more questions, just leave those in the comments and uh, I'll answer them as accurately as I can. So. Anyway, uh, that's going to be it for this video. I just wanted to update everybody. And again, uh, this is a view of the blue car and the red car as I close out. So uh, there will be more videos on this red restoration as well as the blue car. So uh, we will see you on the next video. Thank you.